Greetings everyone, Rio Grand Fan back here again with another ESU tutorial video. In this video I'm going to show you the simple task of changing a horn using the Loke Programmer software. This does not require the use of a Loke Programmer itself, the hardware, only uh, showing you in the software. The software can also help you uh, change the CVs with your DCC system if you don't uh, have a Loke Programmer, so this is really nice. Um, one of the first things though that I want to have you uh, look at is when you open the sound file, S0508 is the file I'm using for this example, uh, you will notice that you will not see the CV numbers like I have them here. Uh, this is very helpful actually to, to add these. And how do you add these you might ask? Simple, you just go up here to the tools menu in the program settings and on the general settings tab one of the things you see here shows CV numbers so if you check that box save the changes and then restart the sound file so you actually have to save this close the file reopen the file once you've done that you will see the CV numbers here show up in brackets and that's really helpful so that you can actually just see things so when we go to the horn we're gonna go down here to sound slot settings and this is for the version 5, the new V5 decoders, you go in here and you'll actually now see when I click on sound CV9 horn that CV163 comes up here. That's actually the CV that you'll need to change to change the horn if you're using a DCC system. And uh, it's pretty simple. And the way you do that is uh, in the software you can just check check these through, click these through and change change the horns. Now of course nothing's actually changing on the decoder until we write it but this is how you would do it. So um, you can come down here and click on the horn pack if you just want to listen to it through your computer speakers this doesn't really work very well for the video but you can click on, on sound slot 3 for the horn click preview and it'll preview horn 0. And then you can click this to a 1 and hit preview and it'll preview horn 1 but you're saying what are these because it doesn't tell you what they are so an easy way to do that is to go over here to information and then scroll down this actually will start up at the top here and it gives you all kinds of information about the sound file so you want to scroll down here to the horn pack and it'll tell you CV163 equals 0 gives you the Leslie S3KR and then a value of 163 equals 1 is the Leslie S3LR and so forth all the way on down here now in some sound files the horns may repeat just because of space or they don't have the full recording of the horn they want to use just yet but this one has all different horns it looks like you can choose there's a 14 different horns in this file likewise the bells are right below it there are six different bells in this file you can see what they are and they're changed by CV 164 so it's pretty simple to change the horns and the bells and if we go back to here we can click on sound CV10 for the bell and it works the same way you can just click on the bell you can play them change this play a different one hit, you know change this play it you can play it through your speakers before you actually write it to the decoder which is pretty nice but um, really not much else to it you can change the volume right here using CV32 to 1 first and then CV283 changes the bell volume uh, CV32 to 1 first and then CV275 will change the horn volume pretty simple so just as an example we'll click back up on horn we have horn 0 I'm gonna play this right through the decoder and through a scale sound system speaker so you can hear what it has for horn 0 the as we saw up here the Leslie S3KR go to driver's cab we go So that's that horn. If we go back to decoder, we change this to a 1. We're changing it to the Leslie S3LR. But we can't actually do, demonstrate it on the decoder until we write it to the decoder. So you have to come up here to write decoder data and click the little red arrow with the paper behind it to do the data. This doesn't matter necessarily for this because we're just doing the horn. And there, there's more about overwriting defaults. If this is checked, what you have set will become the new default so if you have to do a decoder reset it will reset to these values so just click next it's gonna take a few seconds to write this as long as your decoders firmware is updated it won't need to do that every time there it's done so now we go here click 
go and we hear a different horn. If we wanted to go in here and say we wanted the K5LA R24, which I think is a nice, nice sounding horn for like Amtrak or something, you would go to horn 9. So we just click here, go to horn 9, and then we write it. We hit next. And again, a few seconds goes by, and it will write it. And there we go. Go back here, and there's our horn. So that's all it is. Now, if you don't have the Loke programmer, like I'm doing it through here, it's okay. You can just change CV163 to these values, 9 or 8 or whatever you want it to be for the horn. You, you can download this sound file for free, and the software is free. So you can open it up, and you can see what the horns are. This is the horn list for this sound file. All the sound files have a horn list. So you can just uh, look there figure out what horn you want and then set CV163 in your DCC system to the correct value and you don't have to interrupt track power anymore like you did with the selects to get the horn to change it just changes and uh, you're good to go same with the bells you can change the bells uh, we see in here we have a steel bell is the default bell so if we go back here to the drivers cab we can play the bell Maybe that bell rings a little too fast. We don't want that bell. We can come back here to bells, change it to a one, and again we have to write it to the decoder. It's one step a lot of people forget is writing it to the decoder. Again, with your DCC system, all you'd have to do is change CV164 to the value of the bell you want. Yeah, we're gonna. That's a little better. Maybe we want that bell, and so forth. You can change it here and you can play all these. You can actually listen to them all and decide after you heard them all. And again, you can hear them all through your computer speakers as well just by clicking on the sound slot and then hitting preview. Um, this won't work through the video very well, but you can do it on your own. So just you can just change these. So that's what that is. If you wanted to change uh, the brake squeal, I think there's only two possibles. You can do that here. This will go as high as 255, but after a certain value like after the horns were 13 if you changed it to a 14 it would just stay at the very last horn the p5 r24 that's what the program's designed to do same with the bells if you went up to six it would just keep this same bell so uh, that allows you to actually expand if, if you had enough space this this one's running out of space but if you had enough space in the sound file you could add more horns you could add more bells you can always delete them and all that stuff too delete horns and bells by going into the sound slot itself but that's more for another more advanced video this one is just to show you how to simply change the horn and the bell this comes up a lot and uh, that's all I wanted to show you just simple changing the horn and the bell and again you can do this with CVs you don't have to have a little programmer um, that's pretty much it for this one and if you have any more ideas for more videos let me know in the comments uh, I will always try to put something up if you're uh, interested. If it's something that is more advanced than what I can provide, then we'll have to rely on ESU. But uh, for the most part, hopefully we can uh, try to help and solve your problem. Anyway, that's it for me. Rio Grand Fan out. We'll see you in the next one.